morning everyone this is rajendran here joining from uh, market calls and welcome everyone to trade zilla 2.0 daily market commentary so in today's session uh, we are looking into bank nifty today so bank nifty is showing a uh, lot of weaker patterns and uh, uh, the focus the immediate focus is on uh, g2 low and uh, comparative to nifty bank nifty is showing a lot of weakness and uh, if at all any upside is there we have one stop uh, it's there at uh, this is one stop on the upper side and uh, the downside we have uh, a g2 low two back to back prominent point of control and a uh, couple of stops which are there in the system and uh, from the nifty perspective nifty perspective the immediate setup is long maybe uh, once the uh, double top or our top is taken out uh, price is returning back or not that's what we have to look into it last week um, last friday we we got a uh, kind of this 1 2 and 3 low so that low has been protected so far and it it's kind of a stealth auction uh, recovery and uh, so and, and one more one week or setup at the two day high the two day high is exactly uh, one tick higher so market could uh, be initially trying to uh, take out those letter a period high right so uh, relatively compared to um, nifty right so bank nifty is looking weaker without any doubt and lot of rejection was happening at uh, quarterly levels which i explained in the video so if you haven't gone through that i request you to go through this video which i published yesterday so uh, this will give you a top down analysis uh, how we are looking into the markets and what are the weaker setups why we are saying that ma markets are at the upper extreme right so it looks like the way the a spirit single prints are moving up uh, looks like it's a, it's a low confidence market but still the the high here is a weaker high and at the same time on uh, uh, on on nifty on uh, So in the order flow perspective we had an unfinished business around 10895 or so yeah so this a uh, 10907 which got cleared at the opening itself so which i also mentioned uh, in the slack so then so there is a 6 over here it's an unfinished business the unfinished business got revisited and then price is now moving back so which i also posted here in the slack okay there is one more unfinished business at 10893 let me check out and that's still pending uh, 10893 is still pending 10893 there it goes not able to find one this is the only one i'm able to think about 10907 but uh, i see I, one more before that but it's got to be cleared uh, can you go go back uh yeah this is there on yeah, yeah. okay no i uh, 10983 i guess because i also posted that in slack so here around 1 to 120 120 okay maybe let it go okay so we are expecting that a single print to get a clear almost i think they are done with that that 
so they are done with the g2 high as well so some that's two two day high single prints got a clear that is fine and uh, we have an uh, unfinished uh, business there's one more unfinished business over here this is what uh, that it's from the order flow again we are still carry forwarding for maximum of uh, four days it's a trapped buyer from the OFA. Trapped buyer or a seller. So trapped seller. In my case, it is a seller from OFA. So this particular day is low is a trapped buyer. And that uh, OR top got a clear and the G2 high also got a clear. One more final G2 is at 10,010. So it would also, there are a lot of uh, uh, multi-day high is coming over here. That's, I already shown in the past, right? If you go back, there are a lot of uh, congested uh, zones are coming in. So price is outside the balance. So getting back in is where you get the opportunity to fade to the other side towards 10,840 levels. And... Look, Nifty because Nifty would have been broken multiple swing highs, pretty close to multiple swing high. This was one of the recent high. Multiple uh, highs are coming over here. See, the highs are pretty closer. So maybe everyone will be on the alert now because the highs are pretty uh, getting closer and closer. But price getting back into this uh, reference is an. Uh, it's where an ultimate uh, uh, setup comes towards the short towards 10,840 levels. Let's see from order flow, do we get any inputs or so? So one of the G2 high is clear. So this G2 high may be or may not be uh, get clear. So not necessarily that uh, uh, if it's a back to back G2 high, one of the G2 high has the higher odds of getting clearer. So other G2 high clears or not, I don't have any fair idea, but I don't, not necessarily it has to get a clear, right? So take it in that way. Let's see from Nifty out of flow, do we have any elongation? And how about Bang Nifty? Bank Nifty is still inside the range. Still has a great wall at 27,660 levels. A shoot up. So it's a multi-day breakout in Nifty. So you can see that it had broken first Jan high. So it's a multi-day breakout. First Jan high, we are talking about right from the beginning. Right, so first Jan high has been taken out. So it's a multi-day high. Most of the multi-day highs are uh, fake breakouts. Right, so, so far uh, price, as long as price is gonna trade down below multi-day high, it will be treated as a uh, low confidence environment. Let's see how the activity is going to get developed. The thing is, if you want to short uh, Nifty, you have to wait for the confidence to go low selling confidence. Price has to get back into the balance. This balance, I'm talking about it. There is one more balance which is running for some time. It's almost running for 15th of, uh, from 15th to almost, it has been run, running for four days. Now the price is completely out of the balance. Price has to get back into the balance to make a shot. So it, it's almost broken 
keep a line over here to keep a reference that it broken first jan high this is nothing but a pending stop which got triggered There are a lot of stops, a uh, lot of uh, highs coming in. So, so, one more high here, and a couple of highs here. It could trigger all the stops and uh, take it in one shot. And one more high here. Right, so, that's the final uh, G2 high. It not necessarily has to clear, but most of the G2 can get clear. This line, I would like to keep a reference here because anything coming down below could change the sentiment to 10,964, right? Price started going down below 10,964 and accepting below 10,964. It kind of a look about the balance and fail. Let's see when they want to come in. But odds are there, a lot of odds are there that price can get back into the balance. What other stocks? ICC Bank. ICC Bank had done a AB poor low, maybe poor high. For S Bank, S Bank is still trading in a range. I think I'll try to click and refresh. Yeah, so one of the reference level here. Uh, it's exactly at the point of control. So still this can be get cleared. And if you look at the open interest data points, let me plug the open interest data points so that we have a check because price is pretty close to 11,000 levels. I mean, at least futures, not spot. And I kept PCR five strikes. So PCR is 0.33, so as long as it's going to maintain 0.4, it's good. It will defend like a resistance. Anything it's going beyond 0 0.5, 0 0.6, it has the odds of breaking and staying above that. Same 
So otherwise you can see 10,900 has been captured. So it's been above one and the PCR 2.2 is above. Uh, so all are having a significant uh, uh, supports there. Okay, so vertical move. Multi-day breakout with the AB elongation so far. Still, is there any weakness from the order flow? Not yet. Still, buyers are showing interest. So all the levels got a secured low. Yeah, so far looks like it is. There are no unfinished business for the day. Rajendran, uh, what about the 945 candle of OFA? There's a lot of zeros. If you would consider that as a short term support. So when, when there is a uh, momentum is there and you're seeing inside, uh, it's coming with a lot of zeros, right? It, it will be considered as a temporary scalping support. This becomes a, uh, these zeros becomes a temporary scalping support. Especially when it is embedded with the zeros. So you can see a zero over here. This zero, it will be considered as an, uh, kind of a support zone, temporary support zone. We will talk about this this week, we'll talk about it. When it is a momentum candle, that zeros will act like a support for scalping. 
Okay, is that a short term or for a long term? No, it's for scalping. It's only for scalping. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. So you make twenty points, you're out of the game. Something like that. But always those zeros are uh, likely to be, get filled, but immediately it lacks like a support. So the kinds of zeros which is coming in. So these kinds of zeros don't have any. These here will not take that as a support. Will not consider this as support because it's not coming up with momentum. We don't draw a reference line here, but here we will consider drawing a reference line because there are two zeros embedded between the momentum. No weakness yet. Still, delta is positive right from the morning. No sign of momentum exhaustion. Auction is going strong. Can see that one time frame uh, yet. So means it's still not a place to short yet. Auction is one time framing since the morning. Every five minute once the auction is going up and up and up. So day high is precisely around ten thousand nine nine eight point two zero. But the high is not secure. Maybe some temporary selling might come in, but the that high is not a secure one. Volume is not that big, but uh, most of the time the 362 cannot be a day high. B period holds a lot of single prints. Will I attempt to fade it? I don't. I will, I will try to fade the markets only if the price is getting back into the balance. But yes, a temporary sell-off could happen, but uh, that could be a small minor sell-off. One should be fading only if the price is firmly back into the balance. Activity is coming back to the balance. Point of control is trying to build inside the balance. That is why one have to think about fading it. So, day. what if uh, it forms uh, ABC elongation above the G2I? Uh, Let it form first. Okay. In that case, uh, it will be still considered as a, a good auction. No, there are multiple highs are coming in. So, A broken yesterday's high, and in fact, A broken multiple day high, right? So, A itself broken multiple day high. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So in that case, it comes to it's a kind of a strong auction. If the B period single prints are gonna hold, you it should, comes under the continuous pattern, right? No, if it is an ABC elongation today, then you should not be fading it. Okay. If it is not an ABC elongation, then it could be something else. But so far the auction is good. Let's go back and check from order flow. So I am thinking the returning odds are there. The inventory went long, too long. 
and moreover the stops has been hunted the g2 high has been taken out and also the first uh, jan high also taken out but so far the auction is moving in a healthier fashion almost very close to that g2 high yes so I'm going to get the G2 high as well. How about the day high? Day high is fine now or not right? Some sort of momentum, Ex so exhaustion. See a kind of a hammer pattern. Still, buyers are in control. The delta is positive. That is a momentum exhaustion. I mean, anyways, it, it it will be confirmed in another three minutes. But still, more or less, now looks like, despite buyers being in control, uh, it is forming a kind of an. Uh, inverted hammer Another two more minutes to cross. Still delta is positive, still a hammer. I mean still an inverted kind of hammer. You can see that, that uh, buyers are uh, uh, holding that with the positive delta, but despite their price is dropping down, which is uh, kind of a momentum exhaustion. That is so far a momentum exhaustion. Clearly. So one moment of exhaustion came in over here. It's clearly and uh, you can see the delta is positive and despite that uh, the price comes down. It's priced at the peak kind of a moment of exhaustion came. So that is one warning sign at least. We have. 
HDFC bank, it becomes an AV power high. So, auction is turned uh, upside down. Initially, looks like towards G3 low. Now, they shoot it up and then they formed an AB power high. Bank Nifty, pretty close to the same level, 26,660 levels. We got a rejection exactly once. Still, price is trading in, in the inside range. But the weakness is there. There is one more prominent point of control. Poor structure, some of most of the poor structure got a clear. This poor structure is almost got a clear now. Still 27,660. As long as it's going to hold down below that, um, it's going to have a lot of uh, weaker uh, uh, rejections from there. The weaker rejections are a sign that. Uh, and moreover, it's an A, B, a lot of single prints inside. So it's most likely to be reverted back. It's a sign, still a sign of a weakness. Whatever the single prints which are coming inside the range, it is a sign of a weakness unless it turns into A, B, C outside bar. Uh, you should be caring about only, it could turn into a good auction only in a C period it's taking out with an A, B, C outside bar. And let's also go and check the High of the order flow. High is so far good, 37 lots. And momentum exhaustion in Bank Nifty also? Um, yes. It, it is also momentum exhaustion in Bank Nifty also. Kind of an excess it formed on a five minute charts. As long as the C period is not breaking out, still it will be considered as a weaker hand. And in Bank Nifty, only if the price has to return back into the weakness, then only consider as a it as a weaker sign otherwise still it's a sign of a strength we need to fight here but from the order flow we got at the at the top we got some momentum exhaustion and remember that it's a multi-day breakout Have a quick look into here. Point three eight still holding out. Anything above point four, point four five is uh, the initial signs that ten thousand, eleven thousand can be sustained. So maybe we'll try to revise this number by EOD, right? No need to watch the number on uh, intraday basis. Just why every uh, four hour ones or every uh, uh, day end of the day, we'll try to look into it to check whether the, that could act like a resistance or kind of a support. Let's get back here. Again, they are hitting the wall of the upper triangle here. So probably everyone would have been watching those levels. Right? So everyone would have been watching those levels because all the levels are getting closer. Lot of levels out there, so most of the levels got a clear. So I'll say, like, this got a clear, and this got a almost this got a clear. That's the final high. Exactly what was the high? 11,006 is where the final G2 is there. 11,006. Right, so we are still shy of uh, two points, three points here. Yeah. So I'll not say that as a weaker high because it's very too far away from current high. So no need to call that as a weaker high. But it is just a multi-day breakout so far. 
taken out some 17 day high or so the last high was around 31st of december the 31st of december high has been broken high is 10,984 means almost uh, 31 day high or so price getting back into the balance is a weaker case It will be like kind of a look above the balance and fail. And Bank Nifty formed one more stops. So a lot of clustered stops has been there. Let me pull up Bank Nifty here. Definitely it is a weaker sign because it created one more stops. More stops. So there are four stops in a row now. Finally, at least the one time framing star community. So this is a weaker single print. So if you go by that, you have to uh, understand that the single print has the higher odds of getting clear. Right? So a lot of single prints are deep period. Price is still inside the bar. It is a weaker one. It's definitely a weaker one. Price has the odds of coming and testing 375. And maybe around the center point could be around 374. Or even it could reject this double distribution balance. So for the single print has all the odds of clear closing down. And HFC Bank, maybe poor high stays.
So that single print is about to get a clear, like the one which is having in uh, ICC Bank also. It's got clear. And ICC Bank, almost its price is about to get a clear over here. Nifty is still not yet. So Nifty is still, unless it is not getting cleared, it's still not a confirm. You cannot say that whether it will get cleared or not. So still, uh, it's not an. At least Bank Nifty, the odds are there. ICC Bank, the odds are there. Nifty, we cannot really say. It may or it may not, but uh, if it is clearing it and then it is coming back into the range, that is what one need to be concerned about. Definitely an ABC elongation here uh, with uh, without clearing those single print, it's a kind of a strength possibly. C period should not break the day high. If it's gonna break, it become an ABC outside bar. Only one bar we got a negative delta of minus 16 so far our buyers and we got a momentum along the extension here as well this zone and as I said these uh, zones are uh, mostly weaker zones because it is not having enough momentum to support it so these zeros often gets cleared but whereas the, the other zeros which we talked about it, it is one of the trading strategy which we will be discussing this week. Uh, it will act like a kind of a support zone. Now uh, one which we talked about it over here. It's kind of a scalping support. 
it's or we can also say like it's kind of a strong auction so those zones act like a support zone because it's coming like a kind of an uh, you see a momentum and then uh, two places momentum here which is in stuff to be the zero so one more zero and momentum here so all these are signed that that band will act like a potential uh, support zone in a very short term so that's one of the uh, that's one of the trading strategies which we'll be discussing this week. Stuff to momentum, right? So what has to be monitored here is if at all the price is coming down, right? yeah. assume that the price is about to come down and when the price is coming down below day low, it has to come up with a lot of momentum from the order flow. So that is where you will be expecting more downward thrust uh, towards towards that further lows towards the 10,840 levels. From the order flow, when it is returning back to day low, if at all it is returning back to previous day low, um, we need to check from the order flow how the behavior are there momentum sellers stepping in. The momentum sellers has to really step in there. Maybe we can draw a line at 10,964 or so. Draw a line at 10,964. So the price is switching down below. The price is breaking the, the down level. If at all they're coming back below the reference level, it has to come up with a lot of downside thrust. With a strong momentum, with a strong selling momentum. So the auction was stronger and now they are getting sideways. Initially, the initial auction was stronger till 10.5 and now they are kind of moving in a balanced auction. Still staying down. Haven't broken previous day high yet. The thing is that the only thing is that it should not break at C period. Maybe if it is D period, it's fine. It can be an outside bar that is fine. Um, but if it is A, B, C outside bar, it brings a lot of strength inside. And so far, it is not. Another 20 minutes more for the C period to complete. So still trading in the range, a lot of weaker stops on the downside, a lot of weaker levels on the downside, a lot of short term players, you can see that one, two, three, and four, a lot of short term players played and poor structure again, almost five, all the five trading days, only short term buyers are present in that markets. And the stops are at 27,500, 27,400, 27,300 and 27,000 at every level the stops are there. That, that G2 low also has to be tested in T plus 2. Yeah, it is. it will be tested in T plus 2. It can be tested and we have the, all the odds of uh, testing down still. 
because all the participation are coming from short term short term buyers short term buyers short term buyers again lot of anomaly short term buyers again uh, uh, prominent point of control short term buyers so one two three four five five trading days short term buyers show their presence which is why we say like inventory went long to too long all the five trading days are completely dominated by short term buyers when looking at g2 do we also have to like consider context yes context has to be considered so that that improves the odds of it right so let's say here i'll make it as you say that short term buyers short term buyers Again, short term buyers. Again, one more short term buyers. Here again, short term buyers because it's a poor structure and the price went up on that day. So it's emotional short term buyers they are. And again, one more short term buyers because it's one more prominent point of control. So all the five trading days we got uh, short term buyers presence. inventory correct kind of corrected here but still short term players came for a participation again short term buyers are coming for a participation precisely i'm saying that this is a weaker uh, auction whatever the auction happened here in the last five trading days is still a weaker auction So that AB four high is still there. SEC Bank still the odds of closing down is there because still it is an inside bar. S Bank it's a low confidence trading day. and the 15 minutes more new high is about to form or not 1003 what day is low day is low is closely any loss thank you lots okay nothing much to worry about it as of now
அது எதுவும் போர் லோ கடத்தியது மேபி போர் ஹை கடத்தியது Now, the 13 more minutes, I think is whether it's an ABC elongation or not. If it is not, it is a sign of a weakness. At least Nifty broke on the balance, Bank Nifty haven't yet. and if he's still extending this balance for some more time but yes they went to a upper extreme but if not at the c period if some other period is looking back above and then coming back in it still will be a look above the balance and fail all the the one who is inside the uh, balance are totally buyers short term buyers short term buyers are driving the price up so nothing much is happening as of now just balancing 50 not yet confirm weakness is not yet confirm but it has to really get back into the range to confirm the weakness are there any odds price getting back into the days low to say that because if you are looking at the b period The G2 high is exactly Jan 1 high. The B period, someone initiated the, just one tick down below Jan 1 high. Maybe that is a questionable low. That B period low is questionable low because it's just one tick down below Jan 1 low. Or current month high. Somebody is initiating just one point above from the current month high. So we need to watch this auction. That B period low is a weaker low. it is not very prominent but then it's just one tick somebody the b period initiated exactly from the, the one one point below from the jan one high maybe uh, some were mostly trading money trade like that other than that not much of weakness in uh, nifty i'm still that i'll put that as a questionable low the b period low
So I think that's the only short term buyers. So that's got a clear ICC bank, that single frame is got a clear. So another eight more minutes. So far, it doesn't look like an ABC outside bar in Nifty yet, but it's trading pretty close to that. The single print's not a clear, and that is the B period is and the B period low is and it's not a comfortable low. It's exactly one tick from the Jan one high. Let's watch for another eight more minutes. What's going to happen? Is it an ABC elongation or something like that? So far, there are no confirmation from from the profile structure about an ABC elongation. So the buyers are dominating now. The volumes are mostly they're moving sideways after a strong auction. They went sideways for almost now 40 minutes. When looking into the bank nifty, we could see this, uh, this pattern. We'll go back to to go back to the quarterly charts of uh, bank nifty. I was talking about uh, this pattern here. So this high here is twenty seven thousand six six one, twenty seven thousand six six one, and if I go back to thirty minutes, as you can find a lot of rejection coming at those zones. And some time back, we got a rejection here at quarterly low because uh, I took a, that quarterly high because that is the upper balance of the quarterly charts <coughs> or from the monthly time frame charts. Even if you go to the monthly time frame charts, that zone is kind of an, uh, the balance top from the monthly. So that's the monthly top. So that's the reference I took so far. It's so far kind of a look about the balance and the fail and the, so far it, the price is trading uh, inside this balance range. So it's kind of they looked above this balance top 27661 and every time they are uh, trying to uh, trying to push up above that level we are getting a rejection that you can see from the 30 minute charts. So here once they attempted here, once they attempted uh, here they got rejected again. They attempted again. They got rejected again. They got attempted. They got rejected multiple consolidation and then acceptance came down again. A couple of times they accepted. They got rejected. The price went up. They got rejected today. So, this is one of the reference I'm closely monitoring for quite some time. 27661. Every time the price is going above that, it we are getting a rejection, which is not a good sign for longs. Which is why it is not good for longs. So it's not an ABC elongation. Still, another four more minutes. At least, still, uh, Bank Nifty is clearly looking weaker. Nifty is not yet. But maybe the odds are there. It could turn weaker if it's coming back into the balance. And this G2 high may or may not get clear. So I'm not concerned with that.
and moreover it is two ticks away from that so you don't need to really care about it unless it is a weaker one okay three more minutes Bank Nifty cannot really do an ABC elongation. I see this bank completely closed down, right? So that A and B period elongation inside the uh, previous day range, it's a weaker reference. We talked about it. This bank is still going down, but this is still a weaker reference out there. It's clearly weaker reference, so maybe another one or two, three days later on. So we have a, a 24th, uh, 24th Jan, that is an, uh, a result announcement is there. Maybe that day we need to think about whether they are willing to come and test that level or not. So really, it's, it's going on with a low confidence day so far. It's ABC structure here. That is when it comes to Nifty, it's not still not an ABC, but it is not an ABC elongation also. So really, from A and B structure alone, we don't say like it is a stronger auction or not. If it is an ABC auction, it would have been become stronger. Uh, of course, it is not, and ABC has been completed. D period started, so it's something else. So something else means if price is getting back into the range. Yeah, we can consider the shorting that option, right? So, with this, I'm gonna stop the session here. If it is coming back into the range, the B period is weaker, right? So, if the B period has all the odds of getting clear, so that's if that is gonna bring back into the range, then one need to think about uh, getting into a shot because the inventory is clearly uh, clearly long to too long. And some momentum buyers showed in the initial morning. They took a multi-day high. Most of the multi-day highs are fake breakouts. So in that case, wait for the price to get back into the range. Think about shorting towards the trap seller from OFA, which is also a G2 reference level, by the way. So this G2 level is active. I mean, though it is not active for the day, uh, still because the sentiment is turning, holding positive. Maybe tomorrow or some other day, we might reattempt our the one thing, the first order is that price has to get back into the range, right? So that is the only thing. And that also puts the price back around the support zone, 10,840 levels, which is nothing but the previous balance here in Nifty. This support zone balance, 10,842 level, right? Thank you. So look below the balance and fail. That is what we are anticipating. In that case, it, it Looking back below the balance brings the price towards the other side of the balance and in the worst case towards the test of the support zone. Thank you.